Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and then the join by text and Susan's website at susanfowler.com. Uh, Byron had messaged me in chat to mention that he has a question as okay. well. So Byron, welcome. You can go ahead and unmute and talk directly to Susan. Okay, thank you. Susan, um, thanks for being on. And interestingly, and I'd, I'd be curious to your reaction to this, I, I actually have, when I read your book, I almost called it an education book. And I referred to it actually this morning in a training that I was doing with teacher leaders and school leadership and referred to the to the C's because those really are things that we need to be doing both with employees of schools and our teachers but as well as our students giving them choice in in what they do how they do that within the classroom and even the choices they make the connections and then of course the competencies I, I was just curious as to whether you'd had any thoughts about that as you wrote the book since then have you done any thinking about that what what connections have you made with that thank you yeah great question I did see some of the chat about education um, first of all let me just say that I would say the majority of the research that's been done on motivation has been done in education because it's um, a more easily uh, captured um, uh, research base. And it's been done at all levels, all grades, um, from kindergarten to college. So when I was there in Amsterdam with those 800 um, researchers, I heard dozens of papers and saw dozens of abstracts uh, about the use of these ideas in education. And, and in fact, the thing, remember when I um, became the vegetarian and I was really searching for answers, I, I happened to be sick one day from work. This is so fluky to me. I, I happened to be sick one day from work and I was watching Oprah Winfrey because usually I wouldn't be home during the day watching Oprah Winfrey. And this particular day she had on um, Alfie Cohen and I don't know if you know of Alfie Cohen's work, but he had written a book called Punished by Rewards. And he was taking the self-determination theory. This is back in 1996. I actually have the transcript of that Oprah Winfrey show because I wrote to them and I got a copy of the transcript. Um, I was so intrigued by this. And so um, Alfie Cohen was an educator and he was uh, tapping into the self-determination theory research and saying that in, as parents and as educators, we're missing the boat by, by rewarding kids for learning because all we're doing when we reward people for learning is we're creating external motivation, which is suboptimal, he didn't use these terms, these are my terms now, um, suboptimal motivation. It was fascinating. But what was also fascinating was the pushback he got from the people in Oprah's um, audience. They were like, mothers were angry, teachers were angry. Like, well, if a kid does good on a test, we need to give them stars and we need to give them an A plus, or, you know, we need to give them Fs if they do badly and how will they ever learn? And, you know, a mother was saying, when my kid is crying and I'm trying to get something done, if I give him an ice cream cone and he stops crying, trust me, it's worth it. And so they were really pushing back. And what I realized after I got the transcript and I started studying the research that was his stuff was based on, was he was telling people what not to do, but he wasn't telling them what to do instead. That he hadn't really come up with the alternative behaviors. And frankly, that's what I've been trying to do since 1996, was to say, we're really clear in the research what happens when these things exist. We're really clear about what not to do, but we haven't really figured out how to apply the science and tell people what to do differently. And that's, that's been what I've been trying to do. So um, I, I just this morning, I had um, a letter from uh, uh, professors in Sweden, uh, yeah, Sweden that are using my book in their classroom um, to teach students and to create um, a space for it. So anyway, Byron, I, I think you're absolutely right on. I'm thinking that my next book I want to write, because I get this in every time I, I teach or speak, I have people coming up and say, could you write this for parents? You know, as parents, we really need this. And so I'm thinking my next book, if Barrett Kohler, my wonderful publisher, um, is going to go along with it, is why motivating kids doesn't work and what does. And it would be for parents and for teachers. Thank you. Can't wait. Maybe 2021 on that, 